In today's video, I'm going to be showing you the meta defense that all professional players have been using in Madden NFL 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel. My YouTube channel posts four times a day. We post four videos a day to help you get better at Madden NFL 21. If that's something that interests you, what I want to encourage you to do right now is I want to encourage you just to click that subscribe button. And that subscribe button is going to help you stay notified uh, whenever we post a new video. We've got a couple other new videos coming out today, as well as our nightly live stream. If you want to notify about our nightly live stream, make sure you click that notification bell. All right, guys. So, Dime 146. And here's all you're going to do. Coaching adjustments, you're going to go to auto flip, and you're going to turn that off. Auto alignment, you're going to set it to man align. Ball in air defense to play ball. Cornerback matchups by speed. Option defense conservative. Tackling aggressive for zone drop flats. I like to put these at about 5 to 10 yards. Uh, curl flats, this is the key. 20 to 25 yards. Okay, I like 25. Hook zones, um, you can set these to 10. All right, that's, the, that's pretty much it right there. And then you're literally going to come out and dime one four six. And what you want to do is you want to sub in your best uh, user at this left side position. So for these guys would be probably Cody Davis or Terrence Brooks. And then we put Devin McCourty here. Literally, that's it. And all I'm going to do is come out and cover two man or um, cover one, cover one robber. I actually like cover and robber a little bit better because you don't have to press. And all we're going to do is we're going to shade coverage outside, shade coverage over top, and then we're going to drop these two outside guys into purple zones. Okay, and then we're just going to use her with our defit user player right here. And you see, we're just going to lurk the middle of the field, anything that comes up, and there's really nothing open. What's really cool about this is this also can lead to some pressure. So you can audible to cover to sync, and what you're going to see is it's going to send pressure from this guy right here. All you got to do is spread your line spread your um, and then uh, put these put this blitzer right here ja um, whichever blitzer whichever one's on the blitz you just have to put them over the edge here like this so you want this little stack of blitz angle right here as long as you get that you're gonna be good and you'll see you'll get some decent pressure here off that left edge most of the time he'll come free in game and practice it's a little bit finicky so literally all you're gonna do and I've broken this blitz down before on my channel but literally you're gonna audible to cover two sync and then you're just going to grab this guy right here, bring him off the edge, spread your line, crash him out, just like so. And sometimes I'll spread, I'll shift my line to the side I want to send the pressure on. That will sometimes help as well. As you see there, you're going to get that nice looping edge angle. Now again, this blitz is um, this blitz is pretty good. Uh, when they run the ball, when they run the ball, which they will inevitably run the ball, I promise you they will. Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna put both of your safeties in QB spies, right here, just like so. Again, shake coverage outside, shake coverage over top. And then I just like to bring this guy back off. And this is typically enough for me, right? Typically enough for me if they run, um, you're gonna be able to contain the run. You're not gonna be able to actually lock down the run. You're gonna need to go to like a nickel or a three, four formation to do that in goal line situations. But this is a really, really good defense. Literally, I would suggest starting out in something like this just to see if your opponent can beat it. And if your opponent can't beat this consistently, then just stay in this all game. And that's what I do. Um, you see, you get really good sheds out of Dime 146. And it's just it's just a really, really good defense. Uh, and then you, what I like also to do is to mix it in with cover three, but I run cover three a little bit differently. So what you want to do is you want to put one of your guys in the deep middle. Um, you, you don't want the deep middle to come from the safety. Okay, you, you want to leave him you want to throw him in like a purple. So we're going to put both purples out here just like this. And then all we're going to do is we're going to grab onto one of our guys that we can put into a deep middle, which is McCordy. We're going to throw him into a deep middle. And then we're just going to run uh, hook zones with these other guys. And now we've got kind of a cover three, uh, not Mabel, but, but basically that. And now it's a completely different coverage. So this can mix in that zone. And then one of the other things I like to do out of Tampa 2 that I didn't share with you already is I like to turn it into cover to Mabel. So literally, uh, this would be the setup right here. And this is more of a safe defense. This is a defense that if they're hitting you on the outside, maybe with deep corners or stuff like that, and then you're literally just going to use her in the middle of the field. Your job is just to make sure you don't get burned over top. But you're going to have decent pressure from this. As you see right there, the pressure comes right in off the edge, and you're able to adjust. So... 
those are some of the concepts and principles that pro players are using to stop the pass in Madden 21. So I wanted to share with you really quickly. The key tip, the key tip that I want you to hear is you want to be man aligning, or you don't even have to necessarily man align, but you want to be press coveraging, shading coverage outside, shading coverage over top. Outside and over top is the key to make man coverage really, really effective uh, for your defense. If you guys are labbing man-to-man -man beaters, I suggest labbing against that specific type of coverage shell because you're going to see it's going to absolutely just take things away. Um, I mean, there's just nothing open. So, and again, you know, crossing routes, deep post routes, you're going to user all that with your user. Um, but basically the idea is we're going to take away all the outside breaking patterns, force everything back to the middle of the field, which is right into where our user is. Okay. So if you guys uh, want to talk Madden 21 with me, you can text me anytime, ask me any question. My number is 812-216-3644. Also, if you guys want to just talk Madden in general, if you want to get more perspectives, if you want to learn uh, more principles from other players, and if you want to maybe get some new players that you can lab with, what I want to encourage you to do right now is to jump in my channel's Discord. That is a communication platform for everyone that subscribed to my channel gets an invite to that. There's a link in the description of this video for you to be able to join it. We would love to have you come over and just start talking Madden. A lot of people have really grown from that Discord. I'm really encouraged by it. So if you want to do that, that is an option as well. Make sure you're subscribed. Make sure you've turned notifications on because we're going to be going live tonight at 10 o'clock. We answer questions live every single night. We talk Madden every single night. And I show you some of these tips in real time every single night in Madden 21. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. We have a couple other videos uh, coming up on the screen, including what I believe to be the best offense and the best defense in Madden 21 that you can get. So check out those videos and we will see you tonight.